Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video on the top five things every single Aatrox player needs to know. My name is LoFit. I do educational content. I have Diamond 4 experience. I'm also extremely interactive with my commenters. So if you have any questions about my video or any of my other videos, please let me know in the comments down below. I also do NAOPGG reviews uh, for anyone that uh, just wants to get some tips on how to climb a little quicker and full game play reviews as well if that is what you would prefer. So let's just jump in to the first tip um, so there are a couple different runes that are running around that are the most meta but I would say um, there are two big runes you could pick up right now first up Comet is going to give you a good amount of poke and a little bit more main uh, lane presence in the uh, current meta in his state right now and uh, it, it just gives a great amount of damage but if you're in a kill lane you're feeling very confident in the way uh, the lane is going to go you know the matchup you know the power spikes electric can also be a very offensive pickup that can help you um, just get a couple of those early game kills and get you going as you are ability based you're not going to scale as well as uh, attack uh, auto attack focused champions so yeah that will wrap up number one all right and let's just jump right into number two very quick and easy uh, tip for you guys right now. I uh, just want to show you a little bit about the spacing that Aatrox deals with when he's doing his uh, three-part combo with his Qs. So with the first Q, you're going to land uh, the crit at that distance. Then you take one step forward and you're going to hit another crit and then another step forward and you're going to do the three crits. So this tip is just generally going to give you a sense of space on when you should be doing your Qs and if they're running from you, how much more of a distance you have to close. So if they're running away from you, um, after you do your first Q knock up, you can um, augment it by doing an E forward to close that extra step of distance. If they're staying standing still, you can just do the one step method after every single Q, and this should help you uh, land your Qs that can be a little bit more uh, difficult. All right, guys, and let's get right into number three. Now, this is a big point for people that are just looking to pick them up and uh, try and just get some good games out of him. Um, he has an extremely flexible uh, build path. I would say to kind of stay away from the more offensive build paths when you're first starting to get into playing Aatrox as they are um, not as forgiving as some of the tankier setups. I know that there's a couple top Aatroxes that are just playing like, like sometimes they grab lethality items and like the Storm Razor that can cause a huge amount of damage. Um, but if you are just starting to uh, pick Aatrox up, things like Black Cleaver, things like Death's Dance, things like Steric's Gage um, can really be effective um, in his current state and can kind of keep you alive with some of your uh, positioning mistakes. And then also, after you get a few offensive items, maybe two or three that are a bit bruisery, you can look into these two tank items that I think synergize so well with Aatrox's current kit. First up, we have Spirit Visage that's going to increase your uh, spell damp from your Umbral Dash passive, and then also your healing from your Death's Dance, and then you can further increase the healing from your um, Resolve Secondary Tree if you want to grab that uh, Revitalize. Then, uh, one thing I wanted to go over with the uh, Storm Razor starting to become a pretty prevalent item right now, I think Randuin's is a good pickup because you're going to be seeing a lot of crits. Um, being dealt against you and then also the slow is so big for just guaranteeing some of these Q and W hits that make it a little bit more forgiving when you're um, looking to hit uh, those abilities so just always be very cognizant of the game state and hey they have a lot of AD I need to build tabbies I need to build some sort of armor item at some point oh they're pointing a lot of magic resist maybe I should go into a very he heavy spell vamp because they're going to be doing a lot of bursts and you can heal through the burst and also getting that base magic resist and health so you should never be doing the same cookie cutter build over and over again unless you're that one percent of Aatrox players that are just dominating every single lane and you can just go super offensive because you have the mechanics uh, that is needed to play that hyper aggressive build so again when you're just starting to pick it up just pick some more forgiving items as opposed to trying to um, play as good as the pros and go with those very offensive uh, builds. All right, and let's jump right into number four. One big part that I think is a little bit, um, people don't understand that well on what Aatrox can do in the current meta is he is a great counter pick into extremely bursty team comps. 
being that he can absorb a huge amount of damage and come back with his alt and also if you pick up a guardian angel so aatrox is always an amazing pickup against low sustained damage teams for example they have a mid laner like uh, fizz and zed that are just going to be looking to throw that one big cooldown at someone and kill them um, Aatrox can just be a perfect pickup for that because it can absorb a lot of damage that the team uh, otherwise uh, wouldn't be able to if they just had a regular tank that can get bursted out. With these revive mechanics, really look to take advantage of certain team comps. And if you have added him to a certain part of your champion pool, always be looking and um, just trying to address it how much consistent damage and how much burst damage they have on their team. If they have something like a Master Yi, if they have something like a Xin Zhao or a, a crit scaling ADC that's going to be constantly throwing out auto attacks doing uh, the same amount of damage, um, he's not going to be as effective as something that's say like a Misfortune ADC that's not going to have that good of consistent damage or something like an Ezreal that isn't going to be the best consistent damage source. So. Um, my favorite thing right now is to just be taking him into uh, burst damage enemy team comps, and you should be too. All right, guys, and let's get into the last tip. When you are doing combos on someone that is staying relatively still, sometimes it's going to be hard to um, get the E and um, hit the Q. So what I mean by this uh, with the combo, let's just show you. If they're standing still, you hit the Q, and you want to get the E for the extra damage. Um, a way around this uh, that I found it's pretty good is uh, you use your Q here and then you just E to the side and then E to the side again and this will help you um, get the E additional damage um, on your charges as well as closing the distance on a relatively um, immobile champion that's either slowed or stunned. So uh, I know a lot of the times people just want to really just jump in there with the E straight at them but again dashing to the side is going to be um, more damage as you're going to be hitting those crits and uh, you're going to be getting the additional damage as well so always look um, to use your E in the most effective way uh, I know this is a problem with a lot of new Aatroxes that I hate seeing is it seems like they can only press their either their E forward or their E back to run away but look to take advantage of the E to the side because it can be really effective in landing uh, the perfect uh, Q um, uh, again, that, that's going to wrap up my video. If you guys have any uh, other tips that you th feel like I really should have added or um, if you have any questions about combos or you're like, hey, why did you leave out Grasp? It's a pretty good safe rune. I, I, I agree it's a safe rune, but I, I just wanted to go over the two like really prevalent ones that I think are really effective right now. Um, as he d does need to snowball a bit in the early game, I feel like the two more offensive uh, keystones are a little bit better. Um, if you enjoyed the content, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, again, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys, take it easy.